Last time, they've given up mid control. They're in a little bit of danger because David P, he's already snuck around the side, but they haven't checked their close left. Oh. One, two, maybe three, running out of ammo, but Shadow does well to pull that back into a world where FBX can oh. win. And Angel, oh. he's doing it all. Angel again with the sheriff in his hand. He's trying to make the magic happen. It's all on artists. You told us you walk on water. You told us you do something with some brilliance as well. And you start off with one kill, but you've got no option to heal yourself up. You've got to play this like a god. He's waiting for the push to come through. But FPX aren't going to give it to him just yet. Trying to gather some extra information here. And he doesn't want to plant it. He knows he's got plenty of... Red. Great work by Shadow to find that double connection. And with that now 1-0, to zero, it's only pistols to come through from G2. And as you're seeing, it is decimation from the get-go. He didn't yeah. take full damage. They've, they've invested. Yeah, they've taken out their marshals. Uh, they've not. G2 are playing their aggressive game again. That's my bad for presuming that they'd be playing sensibly and safely, but that is not how G2 play. But unfortunately, they're being wrecked. Is this going to give them uh, three rounds more already from the beginning, potentially? You know, can we see the 3 0? Start off strong here for On top of the wall straight away. The benefits of a Sage being shown by David P indirectly. As a tag goes down, lighting up their rays of Zipan to 49 health. The slow to keep him in position. And he's only barely able to make it away, burning up most of his utility as he goes. This is a great start for G2 in that sense on the short battle. But unfortunately, they've lost a lot of their players. Yeah, this is not what they would have wanted to see early on with this. Zipan trying to use the blast packs to his benefit. Not much the Patatek's going to be able to see from that for the moment as Meadow's working his way forward. This is easy for them to play into. Just to kill Joy to find and poor Piff's already down. And I love the fact that G2 didn't commit to this B site. You should run. They know how FPX like to try and rotate this around. The Killjoy is going to come into play. Trading out kills for now. David P's gone down actually. And that's way before Mixwell even had a chance of getting healed up. They're going to try and push up into the A site. And Meadow's actually in a good spot. He'll be avoided. He won't be detained. He can actually cause some damage, but he doesn't seen from FBX for quite a while. And a, a face I'm happy to see on them. This is oh! dangerous. He's seeing them all. Xiao in with one. And lucky that he only gets away with one, to be honest. Oh, the shock darts as well. He's looking to end a few more lives. He's done a hell of a lot of damage here. The old orb's going to be picked up, and well, Xiao's going to hear it all at least. If he wants to have another go, another spam. Oh, they're resin? Like That's dangerous. Already. It was to try and bait that player out into peeking so that the jet could come through, but Mixwell didn't actually spot him on the updraft. Oh! Gets out on the site. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he distracts so Panatech can get the kill, but Xiao's still coming through with wall bangs. Took down David P from below. That's ridiculous, and they maintain an advantage. G2, though, they're not pushing into the site just yet. They want FTX to make a mistake before they try and push on it. The ult's going to be used by Artis. He's trying to force him out of bow downs. It's not going to work out. He's done a bit of damage, but Mixwell will finish him off. Three to two. G2 still on the back foot, but they know they can try and get this done. They've got the position, but it's trying to get that spike here. G2 may have full control, but look how low Pips is put already. Zipan straight in with the ult. Fires it off, but he doesn't really have the information to do that with. It doesn't connect, it doesn't really achieve anything for him, but FBX still have the numbers advantage in this round. Shadow trying to get some spam on go, but it's all about this push in. How do they find their way in? Nicely oh. done by Zipan, he's in full oh. form, in full oh. force. He is wrecking G2 right now. Only Panatech remains. Looked on this map, without a doubt. Shadow get aggressive here, I love it. Tries to spam up the corner, needs to back away. Some shots come out towards him. A very chaotic first start to the round. Just results in one-for-one -one trades, but Xiao is so low. And this is the problem here for him. Shadow wanting to play off the edge of it. Oh, and he's tagging him up nicely. Beautiful work being done there. The teamwork comes in to play. The abilities paying off for him, but will they be aware of how far this has got? Oh, the drone spots him out. And Angel puts him down. The teamwork, the synergy that we spoke about with FBX is starting to flourish here, at least at the beginning for Ascent. Nothing for G2 to give them excuses in this. FBX are looking way better than what we've seen before. Okay, another opening duel lost. The trades are there. Angel punished this time, going down through middle. That's a good start. Do they know Meadows in this corner? I don't think so. 
That walkout on mid by David P certainly doesn't seem to indicate it, but they've spotted him now with the drone. Oh, he puts no. a cage down, but a little bit too late. G2 winning this one. Off the back of Mixwell, popping off with the operator. And hey, that's good enough oh, for me. Oh, Around. Oh, now they're already up 6 to 2. One thing we touched on is Mixwell didn't need to be activated. And well, Angel's going to put an end to him despite that good round he had on the previous. The rest of G2 have been dominating, but Angel, this confidence. This push play, the spikes on the floor now as well. 2v5 and G2, they don't know what on earth just happened to them. They're second guessing themselves at this stage and I would be as well. Start around TP from Angel, just so aggressive and it worked Ooh. out perfectly. Handle all of it, Mitch. I think that's the key thing, right? Because they've been down and we've seen them make incredible comebacks. Do you remember that game we covered of them though? They were down like 10-2 and they won 13-11 and we're like, yep, just G2 things yep. it always happens. But they've never been pressured by a team like FPX. Like we ignore the one that happened at Allied East because it's obviously Oh my oh. god, Shadow. Here we go. I'll stop what I'm saying because I want to focus on this man on your screen right now. Operator in hand. And he's delaying what G2 were trying to achieve. He's even going back out for more of a cheeky peek. He wants some more of that action thrown his way. And Meadow's pushed up here at A main. And this could be a real problem for him. Piff goes down and he's been not having a great game. I've been saying he's been Mr. Consistent over and over again for G2 throughout this entire tournament. I've been overly impressed with what this guy's been able to achieve. But in this game where FPX are showing a new level. Well, he's been put on the struggle boat. This is a pretty unbelievable performance from them. Seven on the board already. Looking for eight. David P. Good for one kill. How much more can he get? He's close to his ult at this point, but he's been shot in the back. Two seconds on his heel, but he can't even get it up in time. Angel's there to shut him down. Avoid some bullets from Patatek. And the Battle of the Omens comes through. Patatek. And Shao. And G2 want to try and push on it. Artis is popping his ult. He's trying to make it connect, but he's not finding too much success. Angel's falling in the meantime, and they're running round G2. Even with lesser weaponry, they want to make this happen. Shao, what are you doing? You can't do this. You can't get away with that. Straight up in their grills, and he makes this possible, but it was looking like a almost clear round for G2. So let just push them with an Odin. <laughs> What's That's he doing? confidence, Mitch. That's the confidence we wanted to see from Shao. Zipan's in there, the showstopper as well. <laughs> and it wasn't just the showstopper that hit G2. That might not be so true. We could be in for one hell of a finals. Oh no, Shadow. He's been playing that angle a couple of times now. Yes, he's mixing it up, but Mixwell's always ready and waiting for it. But David P up high and Angel even gets away with the second kill. G2 are going to try and push on this, but Shao is still in Boathouse. And this could be a problem. They may know his position for now, but he's going to tag him up again. And he's going to frag him up as well. He's not done yet. He's trying to put the end to more of them, but he can just wait for his teammates to come back him up. But Patatek and Mixwell, they believe they can get this done. Mixwell's incredibly low, but the spike will get planted. It's all on Panatek to deliver the kill onto Meadow, who's trying to bait him out. He's going for the jumps. He's going to look in for it. And Mixwell with the operator. And I like that we see, like, we know who their analyst is, but it's nice that we see the coach shown on the screen there as well. A little bit of a difference maker here for FPX that they've got the full back in now, all large and ready for them. Well, you know, when it comes down to clear-cut comms, that's, that's about as good as it gets, right? Say as much as you can in as few words as you can. Not something I'm good at, but... I just loved it from, like, Zip on there, where he's like, oh, dead here, dead there. Meadow's trying to go dead metal. It's like, that's exactly what you want to hear, so you're not checking spots twice. You're not, you're not second-guessing yourself, things like yeah. that. G2 massively put under pressure here. They need this pistol round. Because right now, FPX, they are... So far ahead. Yeah. Oh, they are MVP to come from there. And he's gone the whole way around. D2 are playing this smart. They're not taking the risk. Mixwell checking all the corners. The smoke's going to be put down as well. And Meadow. Oh, he could play off the back of this. Jump up from Shadow. Zipan's pulling in one of his own. But D2, they're getting this done. Shadow's got other ideas. He's finally pulling it back. 12 health and a dream. And now it's all on Zipan in a 1v2. He's outnumbered. He's outgunned. And G2 pick up the pistol, an all-important one they desperately needed here. Right. And being like, yeah, G2 are going to win. We get to the finals. We're like, okay, at least, come on, guys. At least make it close. And they don't. Ooh. Nicely done. They're only getting one off the back of it, though. Nice work from David P. Even though that other flash was going out, it could have caused a problem for some of his teammates. And now they'll go on the cleanup duty. 
Easy stuff with you two and light plays. 2-1-2 two, two setup. Just a little bit of control on bottom mid. This is what they need. This is what they want. And Mixwell in with another. That's the shot you gotta hit. Shadow 40 was the only one there, but Piff's hiding around the corner. Mixwell dominating with the operator. Up to his old tricks again. Meadows trying to push his way in. And he will get the kill onto Paratech. He's gonna go for the spike. Very little chance though. He's got 52 health. Mixwell to finish it off. Great stuff from him. Four kills into the round. And this is where he knew. Well, I've got an escape. I can dash out of here. This could be huge. And that's exactly what it is to start off with. Mixwell's backing him up as well and slapping from Plus Phoenix down. Goes in for another pop shot. The shot darts are coming out from Artis to give him the backup. And although the flashes are good, Meadow's only walking away with one kill. Artis right on the edge of it. Takes a shot. Isn't able to make it connect. This will allow FPX a little bit of room to work with. But still. Oh, nice timing there from Panatec just before the door went down. Meadow just thought he was safe. But you can never be safe against the likes of G2. Shadow cornered. Locked in. May have the spike. But he needs someone in G2 to make a mistake. Now, Artis is droning out. Perfect timing. He heard it. He knew what's up. And that's the mistake he needed. But it's still two more players to find. Oh, this is going to be great from Patatech. He's seen where they've gone. Going to try and find his way out. Pops the ult. But is it going to be enough? Patatech and Piff, they're playing it smart. They're playing it together. And they're grabbing a seventh round. The pressure is certainly starting to mount up against Fun Plus Phoenix when you were so far ahead. Oh, we've seen it so many times, Banks. I'm getting worried. Yeah, this is the confident, the strong D2 that really scares me. When I Meadows ult is going to be coming up huge for him as well. Tells them how close these players might be, but they still can't deal with Piff. Two operators in play, but Mixwell brings out the knives. You say don't bring a knife to a gunfight, but Mixwell loves it and he's going to finish off Shadow. He's looking for more. Can't get much from the updraft. Throws the smokes on down and... Oh, Piff! Zip and runs straight into it. They're giving him the chance. They're giving him the opportunity. Yeah. Oh, beautiful work from Angel. Paratech, he ults his way in, but it doesn't pay off at all. Mixwell's going to bait out the blast. Oh, no, the back and forth is it, man. That's what you want to see. His boom bot went out. No one could hit the floor, and he was going to drop the bodies on the floor for landing all the kills. Only Piff to find, and it's got a slow rotate over. He might not even decide to go for this. Wow, the throws. Look where they've hit. Back in peace sight. That's some yeah. throw he's got. That was good. That was a great lineup. Not going to work out, mind you, but... Oh, there's the info. Swing. The one, this was where they belonged. This is where you did not want to face them. And now they are under threat in a round where they have very little hope Ooh. anyways. The tag, the kill. Pith got double ulted That's there. Not cute. a whole lot you can expect from him. No. Super unlucky of your Pith. Now the rotates fully come in, but is it going to be enough? The spike's down, but the afterplant position's already here for FBX are huge. Zipan gets the nade out. Oh, David B's got to be careful. So much damage potentially done. Mixwell can't hit the shot either. Zipan is feeling it right now. There's still five alive for FBX, and David P's just right on the edge. He's just got to hope. This, this is unheard of for FBX. If they can beat oh, yeah. G2 on Ascent, there's no map they can't beat them on. They can win this series. They can defeat G2 in an Ignition Series event, and they are certainly going to do it on this map by the looks of things. A five versus two. G2 falling apart at the seams on their home turf. And it's all down to Pith and Artis to try and make this comeback happen. A long-range judge, not what he wants. Hold on, Pith could oh. one, but he tanks the damage. 